Bobby, congratulations. I mean, that was amazing. He's the guy that's undefeated. He's the guy that has all the stoppages. I checked the betting odds. He was a three to one favorite. I mean, tell me how you're feeling right now. Man, I feel great. I feel so good. I knew he was in here. I knew he had the hype behind him. They were blowing him up and I wanted to come in and stop the fight. Wanted to stop him in his tracks tonight and uh, he kept calling himself the king. That's my name. Don't take my name. That's all what kings do. We come here and we take crowns. I just took his crown tonight. Woofs. Uh, you came out extremely aggressive, like you were shot out of a cannon throwing bombs. I mean, was that the strategy right away, or was that just in the moment? Uh, yeah, it was kind of the strategy. Um, my last fight, I kind of held back a little bit, uh, kind of waited, and, uh, you know, in that last third round of my last fight, I came out, and I, I knew that's how I should come out every fight. Come out banging, let them know why I'm here. I know why I'm here. I know I deserve this. I've worked my whole life for this. I wanted to go out there and show it tonight. Uh, previously to this fight, he won every single fight by first round submission. One point it hits the ground, he's tossing up submissions. Were any of them close? Yeah, that arm lock was pretty close. He had it pretty deep. Kept going back and forth in the two to figure forward back out and I finally got my arm out. I felt it pop a little bit, but it was not, not, not gonna stop me tonight. Um, I know he promised he was gonna stop me in the first round and it kind of definitely lit a fire on me and I wanted to prove it. He wasn't gonna do it to me tonight and I'm, I'm glad it did to him. Uh, you mentioned you're the king, the king gets what he wants. So tell us what you want next. I want to keep fighting, man. I want to climb the ranks for Bellator. I want the opportunity to show why I'm here, why I belong here. Thank you for the opportunity so far. Hey, Bobby, listen, amazing performance. Uh, you know, a lot of fighters that come in with the hype, you know, it's, uh, you know, when you're facing a guy with a lot of hype, it's up to the guy whether you, you let the hype train control you or you control the hype train. And you showed us tonight that you were, you were in total control of the hype train. So explain to us, like, you know, facing, taking on the opponent that, you know, uh, Ghazali was, like, what was your mindset uh, throughout training camp and uh, going into fight week? Man, I didn't, I didn't even hear about the hype train until, until I got here, honestly, to tell you the truth. He's just another fight to me. Um, I know I can hang with the best out there. Whether he's got hype behind him or not, I'm gonna come here and show who I am and show what I do. I've been doing this all my life. I deserve to be here. I know why I'm here. I know who I am. I'm gonna show you why. Here I am today. All right, listen, you said you heard a, little, a couple of pops, but you know, how soon can we see you capitalizing on this hype of a victory and how soon do we see you back in the cage? Man, as soon as Bellator had me back, I'm in. There's no injury. I'll get back, take a week off, get right back to training. I do this every single day of my life, so. Whenever I get the call, I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, congratulations on the win, Bobby. Thank you. Um, I'm curious to know. So he said he was going to try to finish you in the first round. Now, he didn't make it out of the first round. The doctor seemingly stopped the fight. Did, uh, did you have any idea that that's how the fight stopped? Or what was you thinking, like, going to potentially the next round? Man, if, if I went to the second round, I knew it was going to knock him out. He wasn't going to last the first minute of the first, second round. Um, but while he was out there, the doctor was talking to him. I could kind of see what's happening. And then it was about a good about 30 seconds to a minute. And I was like, man, it's got to stop the fight by now. And uh, I know his coach is kind of mad and didn't want him to stop. But what can you do, man? Unfortunately, it's not the way I wanted to win. But hey, a win's a win at this point. Also, just uh, want to know more about uh, what you're wearing right now. Tell us why, uh, why this is important to you and uh, it gives you inspiration of any kind. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, from my culture from Hawaii. Wear this as a lay, you know. Uh, just gives me power, mana, you know, from my family back home. There's a lot of spiritual uh, mana that comes with this and uh, definitely brought it tonight. Now we're going to go to one on the Zoom here. Kobe, go ahead. All right, Bobby, dominant performance. You look fantastic out there. Uh, given his history of submissions, were you resistant at all to go to the ground with him or no? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't want to play his game. I wanted to keep it to my strengths, but I knew even if we went to the ground, I could handle my own against him. I trained with a lot of black belts, high-level black belts, Coach Anthony Lobato, Bryce, um, you know, a lot of guys, my boy Dex. So I wasn't worried about his ground game as much as he thought he was going to finish me. I just didn't want to let him play his game tonight. I wanted to play mine. Yeah, and toward the end of the first round there, you did take him down to the ground and you went for a submission finish. Is that because you knew you basically had him beat at that point? Yeah, it was, I, I knew it was pretty deep. Um, I thought I was going to finish him honestly, but uh, my, my leg slipped over his head. He kind of rolled over. I had the uh, shoulder lock in there. And uh, I don't know, he got out somehow. He's trying to go for a choke at one point, and I just, I just knew I wanted to pound him out. So that's kind of what I went for instead. All right, Bob. Thanks for the time, man. Thank you.